Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Belgium versus Germany. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Jason Denier plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And the striker of choice today is Timo Werner. And they kick off here. Well, Belgium in the round of 16, one of the features of their play down the years has been comeback football. 1986, I remember their terrific fight back against the Soviet Union. 2018 in Russia, 2-0 down against Japan. They went on to win 3-2. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And once again, they get the ball rolling. Let's find out if Belgium can react to this setback. Azar. Lukaku. A very timely interception. Room to room for Germany on the flank. Well, possession seeded. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Timo Werner excellent ball over the top and it was a menacing attack but tidied up teammates available Courtois with the easy save oh managing to beat him could be, oh it's in, a two goal cushion now, 
and the lead fully merited. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Nicely timed tackle. Well, the stats confirm that Germany had the lion's share of possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attack in football and they look like scoring more. Sané. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Being pressed and pressed high. Hazard. And the ball back with Belgium now. Has a go. And the keeper more than equal to it. Short corner it is. Into the centre by Azar. Threat over for now, it seems. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Sane. And teammates to play it to. Werner. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Tielemans. Azar on the ball. Well, totally confused his opponent. And taking it away. Leroy Zane. Sané, crossing opportunity, will it happen for him here, what a vital intervention, taken short and making the move to the inside and the body in the way and with that the first half draws to a close So off and running again here, Germany dominating the proceedings, a breathtaking first half showing, will they be able to match that in the second? He'll take it away, he won the ball. Losing possession a bit easily. Minier. Now Alderweireld. Here's Tielemans. Minier. And now here's Aiden Azar. And he has options available. 
and the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, the keeper was hoping someone might get on the end of it, but it will be a throw-in. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. De Bruyne. Failure to keep the ball by Belgium. And the referee blows for a foul. Not messing around with that clearance. Cleared away comprehensively. Meunier. Given away again. Meunier. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. They need to get bodies back. And the keeper more than equal to the task. So a personnel change then. And deciding to go short with this one. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Being pressed and pressed high. Committed challenge. Dendonker. And return to Azar. Lukaku. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Oh, surely! Really good diving save. And the substitution will occur now. Short corner, let's see. Played into the box. And still dangerous. Dendonker. Body in the way. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Panakan. Panakan. On to Tielemans. Well read to put an end to that attack. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Careless in possession. A very effective clearance. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish. But that shows how dangerous they are on the break. Here it is now, a substitution. to be replaced by... Number 16, Marco Reis. The Kate Delare. Good. And there it is. Germany are through to the quarterfinals.
Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win, but they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round. Well, he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner. Let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.